Jamie here for ICYMI. First up, it's been revealed that Microsoft could be earning as much as $2 billion from Android, despite not making any Android phones. It's already well known that Microsoft makes royalties from Android manufacturers such as Samsung and HTC, but the exact licensing deals haven't remained hush-hush. The latest report from analytical firm Nomura, however, has revealed that the deal could be helping Microsoft to fund its loss-making ventures, namely Windows Phone and Xbox. Previous reports have suggested that Microsoft makes between $1 and $8 per Android device shipped, but the latest numbers would definitely put that in the latter end of these estimates. Next up, how would you like a phone for a fiver? Well, it looks like you can get exactly that from Asda's up and down the country, with the American-owned retailer selling a phone cheaper than a bottle of wine. At £5, the Alcatel 1010 is officially the UK's cheapest phone, and unlike any other budget device on pay as you go, there's no minimum top-up required, although you'll still be tied to the T-Mobile network. The Alcatel 1010 isn't like the other phones you might hear about on ICYMI, taking us back to the bare basics. There is, however, an FM radio and an MP3 player on board, meaning you could get a lot more out for £5 than you'd expect. Finally, be prepared to become the emperor of your own Death Star in a new game for iOS, Android and Windows Phone named Star Wars Tiny Death Star. The game is based on the smash hit Tiny Tower from developers Nimblebit, but the Star Wars version is definitely a lot cooler, with an 8-bit Darth Vader to boot. You can employ your own citizens from around the galaxy to run your Death Station. It's free on all of the systems. That's all for today. For more on these stories and others, head to whatmobile.net.